Robert, I have a real problem when you keep booking these cruises. No, it's all right. We can afford it. No, it's not <laughs> that. It's it's a problem I have. Oh, what's your problem? It's FOMO. <laughs> I know what that is. Fear of missing out. That's me. <laughs> what are you afraid of missing out on? Everything on a cruise ship because there is so much to do. And I'm frightened that I'm going to miss just everything or something or something that's really, really good. Can no, you help? Can absolutely. you help? Absolutely. I have a solution. Hi, we are Rob and Ali sharing with you our passion of all things cruise and travel and help for FOMO. <laughs> now, this is actually a real question that we A, get asked a lot and B, we see on social media sites that people say, what, do, what can I expect on the ship? What is going to happen? How do I prepare for what there's going to be? And also, are there going to be activities on the ship to keep me interested in things that I might like? Um, or am I not going to have a packed the appropriate things to be able to join in? I want to join in and I'm going to be the one that's that's not going to be part of the group, the it crowd, um, or I'm going to miss out. Lots and lots of reasons um, to, for needing to know up front what's going to happen. Even though it's nice to have a few surprises, isn't it? <laughs> It is, it is. Um, well, we're going to break this down now into two parts. What you can do before the cruise to find out what sort of things you can expect and then how to know what's going on and where it's going on whilst you're actually on the ship. That's right. So now I was surprised it was Robert that introduced me to the idea of going on Facebook to look at what was going on never realized that this was available tell us a bit about the facebook groups please okay so there are a few things that you can do here first of all the cruise lines will generally have a facebook page where they will give you some information but also there are generally cr uh, facebook groups set up for specific cruise lines cruise ships or even specific cruisers they're generally set up by um, individuals on facebook who want to uh, attract people and join them into the group so if there's actually, so other people who are going on a cruise, they've booked it and then they go out to the world, they give an invitation out to the world to say, if you're coming on this cruise trip, uh, cruise, or you're thinking of coming on it, join this group and then we can kind of have discussions about um, what's coming on, what mm. new activities, if there's been a change to the itinerary, all sorts of things. Yeah, and generally speaking on those groups, there will be people who have cruised before and they'll be more than happy to answer questions on what sort of things that you can expect. Yeah, it was a really good way to mm. kind of, and it's like having it's like having a ready-made group of friends when you go on board. You don't necessarily ever bump into those people, but um, but you can do if you get on with some people and you choose to then meet up. Um, or otherwise, it's just an information sharing platform, and it can be quite exciting, isn't it? About you know what what, what you're going to wear, what ideas have you got for this particular theme night? Maybe um, that was great fun. And they will generally be somebody who has got copies of the daily activities that they are more than happy to scan or, or take a picture if of. If they've been on post. a similar one previously. Absolutely. So you can actually see what happened on a specific cruise. Yeah. Now, there's there's this other funny this other funny channel. I don't know who watches it, but it's called YouTube, I think. <laughs> um, and there is, of course, lots of content out there for you to go and have a look at. And quite often, people are giving you a review. So it's not just about what's on. It's about whether or not... Um, it's any good whether or not um, it's it's something perhaps that like-minded people would like. So it could be something where people say, this is really for a younger generation. This doesn't suit people who don't like loud noises. Um, it Or it felt very hot or it felt very crowded. So you will get a kind of a critical review um, on things like these YouTube channels, not just a list of what's on. And that can be really useful um, mm. if you're kind of thinking, yeah, I can see that's on, but is that really going to be my kind of thing? When I actually watch a YouTube channel with real people who are experiencing this and I can see what's going on, I often change my mind and I kind of think, do you know what? That looks like a load of fun. You know, a bit of line dancing. We're going on a country, country and like country and western style cruise. Wouldn't wild horses wouldn't have dragged me on that. Saw other people having so much fun um, and what was going on. 
we're up for it. So that's a that's a great way is to uh, just look at other people's YouTube reviews on it. Including ours, because whenever we go on a cruise, we try to capture what we've done during the day and during the evening and some of the activities that there are on board. Um, it's not everything that's available. It's just what we've done, but it might give you some idea and other people do the same. Yeah. Now, the cruise lines themselves also, of course, have their own websites and they will put up... Um, Generally, in, generally in broad terms, they'll put up what's going on. Mm. Often the activities that are on board a cruise ship are very much up to the, what I say, the discretion of the cruise director. Um, so they have sort of a, I guess, a, a broadsheet um, of what they need to do, what they need to provide. But within that, they have a lot of scope. So some mm -hmm. cruise directors will just do pretty boring cruise quizzes on board others will go to the absolute nth degree to provide lots of <clears> entertainment <throat> and lots of different things in those activities mm. um so it's uh, say it's it's worth having a look at what's on by going onto the websites yeah. but i think you need that broader picture of, of going on yeah. to the uh, facebook and um youtube as well oh absolutely don't but just rely on what's on um the website yeah generally what you will find on most websites though is you will find details of any theme parties that they have on board um, P&O uh, specifically they put the theme parties they give you a little bit of information about it and they also tell you what cruises they're on so which ships and what length of cruises they're on Carnival do the same and many other cruise lines do the same so you can find that sort of information if you want to sort of pack some clothes to uh, to join in those theme parties and they're not compulsory but yeah you'll find that sort of information on their websites but also and while we're on the subject of websites, um, there are a lot of people who actually have websites dedicated to cruising. We have one ourselves. We try to put all of the activity uh, sheets from the cruises that we've been on, not only the adults, but also the kids clubs as well. Uh, we try to put them on there. So if you head over to one of those websites um, and have a look, uh, you will find activity sheets of previous cruises. So that, again, will give you an idea about what goes on on the ship. And also lots of other information. Quite often, before you go on your cruise, maybe a week, two weeks before, the cruise line will send you an email which will give you some further information. So watch out for those emails as well because they'll give you some information about specific um, theme nights, specific parties or specific events that are maybe going on on the ship for your particular cruise. Yeah, we have been caught out where we thought it was going to be, I don't know, I, I'm... I'm just making this up but it, we thought it was going to be something like a school night and then it had changed to Hawaiian night quite different and if we packed the wrong thing <laughs> you can't really get, get away with a schoolies night on a on a um, <laughs> tropical night or something or Hawaiian night so um, no, nobody cares <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> we just look like the real weirdos they might, they might we? just think that's your normal clothing I know so. <laughs> Whereas Hawaiian, you could do it the other way around. Because Hawaiian night just looks like like any old, like a holiday, like you're really into the holiday mode. But yeah, you could get it quite wrong. Now, we are all prepared. We've got our things packed. We know what we're doing. Um, and we're all ready to go. And now... Before we do, though, before we do, there's, a, there's another category of people that you can turn to for some information. If you have booked your cruise through one of the Cruise Line Cruise Planners... Of course. Or through yes, a travel agent, yes. or more specifically, a, a specialist cruise travel agent, they will have a lot of information that they can give you about what to expect on the cruise. Um, you book through the planner, you book through the travel agent, that's their job. So we'll I, use them. Ask gosh, them. how can I forget about them? I mean, really important people. And a lot of you Very guys do, will go through that. And I, yes, forgot about those. And they will give you a lot of information. But Robert, I'm already on the cruise ship. <laughs> I, I've unpacked and um, I'm ready to go. Well, so what's the first thing I if do? If you're already on the cruise, hopefully you have already downloaded the, the cruise app. And on there, we'll generally show you all the activities that are going on if not through the whole cruise, at least for that day and probably for some of the next day. The apps are really, really useful and they actually serve as planners in a lot of cases. So you can scroll through, have a look at the activities you want to do, hit the I want to do this <laughs> and it will then form part of your own personal itinerary. It'll send you a, um, a little so uh, this reminder. is downloaded on your mobile phone, on by the way, phone, not yes. on your computer. So, no. so this is on your mobile phone, download the app. Um, and as you say, and it, but it also allows you to normally contact each other when you're on the ship. 
Mm. And that's a great way, you know, I'm here, I'm here, where are you? Where's my drinks? Yeah. Oh, look, what, what in particular... <laughs> what are you up to? <laughs> one of the apps in particular that we really like is the Carnival app because what it enables you to do, it enables you to, to connect with fellow passengers and friends and people that are in your group. It's fantastic. And you can see, once you've done that, you can see what activities they are booked in for and they can see what activities you're booked in for. So you can then choose to join them or avoid them if that's why, if yeah. you don't want to... But you you can so you can <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> you can coordinate. We didn't tell you that one. <laughs> you can coordinate to make sure that you uh, you all go to the activities together that you want to go. It's, or, they're fantastic. Or we've apps. been at activities and we've gone. This isn't for us. And then we go. Let's go and see where the girls are, or let's go and mm. see where you know other people. And we go and we go. Oh, look, the girls have started this. And we go and we and we'll run and we'll meet them, or we'll say because we'll know they'll have a table or something. If it's a different quiz, we'll know they're set up somewhere so we can get in. It's a little bit of a cheat, but it's a great it's a great way of um, keeping in touch. Um, yeah, and and uh, yeah, so the and app's finding fantastic. out what's going on and and being where you want to. Now, <laughs> my phone. My phone. I think my phone's great. My phone's a Galaxy, um, and I think it's. I think it's top notch. Um, anyway, it's now that old that the app will not work on some cruise ships. It actually just keeps telling me that it's not even that it will partly work. It just goes no, no. It's an older version of Android, isn't it? So it doesn't work. Yeah. Actually, I was just going to come on to say if you have, if your app doesn't work for any reason on your phone, or you just prefer not to use the app, you can still always get the good old fashioned paper copies and they are available on pretty much most of the cruise lines that you like me i like both i do like having both i like like a paper copy now on some cruise lines they will deliver them to your cabin pno for example you will get the following day's activities in your little mailbox the night before some of the cruise lines you might need to go to the guest services or you might need to ask specifically to to receive them um but i don't think we've come across one yet that does not no. have yeah um i think royal caribbean you have to actually pick them up from the guest services but we've not come across one yet that does not have a paper copy of the activities if you want it now these tend to be a, an a3 sheet folded in two so it's sort of an a4 sheet like this and not only does it have the daily activities it has all sorts of other really useful information information like the times of the restaurants mm. the times of the bars and where they are so you can kind of see which bar is open um or where you can go and get a coffee food snacks yeah. all that kind of stuff the emergency services guest services what um where they're located so lots of that other information It'll also well. tell you if there's a theme night on so that you'll know what the theme night is so it'll say tonight is white night for example or 80s rock and glow party yeah or, or yeah. it's a special kind of comedy club or something they'll have that as like the headliner on the front page so um we always think that's worth getting because although the app's got everything in it you have to you have to go to the specific page whereas you know it's quite nice to have something visual that, yeah. that's all on the one page so paper copies that's that's the way we go now um the other thing is listening to the cruise directors announcements yep. or just the general announcements quite often it's something new that's coming up or there's a change to something you know the weather's changed so we're changing that the the party tonight is mm. going to be on the not outside anymore it's going to be brought inside that's right um we're cha- we're actually changing course because there's rough weather you'll get all that i mean that's happened doesn't it or we're not oh, yeah. we're yeah. not stopping at the next port you'll get that over an announcement and if you're like me and you kind of got your earphones in and you're zoning oh. out to it <laughs> I have to, re- I have to rely. I have to rely on my lovely companion here um, to tell me what's going on. But um, yeah, you really need to keep an eye on those things. A good cruise director will be giving you information pretty much throughout the whole day and night. And a good cruise in- uh, director will usually give you some information in the morning, either via the television, a morning show, or through an announcement through the PA system on the ship, and tell you what's going on in the morning or the afternoon of the ship. You'll generally get a similar sort of announcement round about midday as well when they tell you what's going on in the afternoons and then before and after the show um, they will tell you what's going on around the ship so there's lots of information that comes from the cruise director and then of course there's always fellow passengers who are always happy to share information with you what i would say another word of warning is i wouldn't change your plans unless you absolutely (laughs) verify it because we've all been caught out by that one
Yeah, you know? absolutely, absolutely. Now, final one, if you're uh, a bit of a techie and you like all your tech stuff, is um, interactive screens. A lot of the newer cruise ship have these screens placed around the ship, uh, which are touch screens, and you can touch them, and you can scroll them, and you can see where you are, and you can see a whole lot of things. They but are one fantastic. Of the, they are, but one of the things they will generally have there is the uh, the list of activities and things that are going on on the ship throughout the day. But you see, you can have things that you don't even think of. So we're talking about activities, but of course you've got to think about things like, um, I don't know, afternoon tea or mm. a specialty kind of cocktail making or something. Something that they've just put on or is a sort of a special thing that they're putting on. You will see those on the interactive boards or even on top of uh, some of the bars. Um, we noticed one last time we were there that they had introduced bubble teas. So they were having like a bubble tea session where you could go and try the different bubble teas. Mm. That was just on a stand on top of the bar. So really use your eyes and ears all the time. And I think your TV in your room as well, though, should be a setting on there that will tell you if there's anything um, coming quite up. Often, but those often. interactive boards, they're not on every cruise ship. No, it's and only you, really the newer ones. And you may not realise on some of the cruise ships that they are interactive. So um, just have a little poke. <laughs> just have to try it out. You can't really tell the difference until you start touching it. And then you'll see that it's got a little plus or a little arrow. And, and they come in different languages as well. You can actually select your language once you realise they are they are a hoot they're great they um, but they are really yeah. informative yeah so that's it hopefully this video has given you some information about how to find out what to expect on your not only on cruise ships in general but on your particular cruise and also where to find that information when you get on board so robert now i am over my fomo and i now have t m i <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? I should stop trying to be trendy like the kids, shouldn't I? No, it's too much information. Have we ever did a say? If anyway. If we've cured your FOMO, then job done. Excellent. Job done. <laughs> job done. Whatever, you are going to have a fabulous cruise. Yeah, just just make sure that you do look at where everything that's going on so you don't miss out. It's it's really bad when you come back and somebody said, did you do this? And you say, I didn't even know it was. You go, I know, and you go, <laughs> you what? Yourself. Was that on? However, yeah. that is an excuse to book another cruise <laughs> <laughs> absolutely i like i like your thinking robert if you've liked this video please hit like please hit subscribe and hit the notification button if you want to see more of our videos that's all from us for this one thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one bye for now bye, bye.